Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where we are trying to build the most profitable city possible. And so far, <laughs> so good. Almost two billion dollars, 15 million dollars an hour, and our monthly income is about 370 million dollars. Do you know what you do with that kind of money? You invest it into the economy to make more money. And so the game plan today is we are going to start our expansion over to the north here by making this island a new city center, similar to our first island here, and then redoing a ton of highway infrastructure to support our growing population. But of course, big upgrades mean big changes and not everybody is gonna survive them. But it is what it is. We got big highways to make first off, and the biggest thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring a highway from our existing infrastructure over here, through this way, cutting through this little suburban neighborhood, and then over to this island, and then connect it over to there. And honestly, I should have really done that forever ago because it will help out with traffic significantly. Because as it stands right now, we're bottlenecked by this bridge down here. Because our main population center on the island has to go to the main labor center that's on the mainland, and then all the tourists and utility people have to use the same bridge. So with this new highway, it should cut down that traffic by maybe like in half. Like it will be significant and look significant as well because this bridge has to go across the shipping lanes here. So it'll be something like this. <laughs> yes, with a pillar directly in the middle of the shipping lanes. Uh, I don't think though. Okay, look, generally like this, that'll be fine. Then this highway will go over in this direction somewhere. But we'll deal with that later. Easy part first. Let's get this side of the highway over to the border of the city. So this will just cut through the center of the island. We can have entrances and exits wherever the heck we want. And then from here, cut across this gap. Probably? Maybe at a different angle though? I don't know, something like that. Or actually, wait a second. Why am I worried about any of this? This highway, it's gone. Goodbye. <laughs> oh man, you know how tempted I am to do the big meme, a boot bop? Uh, I have only there's a warning for that. Like look at how much that will destroy. Though to be fair, I kind of want to destroy that much. Yeah, that might be the play here. Yeah, same with the train track too. But no, I can't even express to you guys how many times I've accidentally deleted like entire highway areas. Like this, oh my gosh. Like yeah, if I just release, it's gone. Like I really wish there's a warning on that. Or like a, are you sure about this kind of screen? But at least like you can roll back saves and that's pretty good. Anyway, highway is in now. And we have way more straight lines. So when we want to add in tons of highway entrances and exits along the coast here, it's going to be simple. And then the same deal with this highway. Where again, we're going to figure out that side of the bridge later. But this side, yeah. Just scoot it over this way. And here we are at the intersection. We have to build a little highway interchange. But luckily, we have all the space in the world, A. And B, it's only three directions, which is fine to design. Once you hit four directions, oh boy, you're getting into the memes. But no, we should be able to set up something really cool here. I set up this guiding road to make sure everything was aligned at least decently. Now we can add on stuff like this to line up the highway entrances and exits. Ah. <laughs> Apparently those things are gonna be a little weird, but we can at least make it symmetrical like that. That gives us some guideposts for bringing in the extra highways and stuff. Uh, the main thing is I want these huge new highways to connect up very, very well. Because in time, I'm sure most people will end up using this bridge more than any other in the whole city. It's also why I'm making it like a five lane road right off the bat. Well, partly because of that and just because, hey, more lanes is better, right? At least that's the case in North America. <laughs> but anyway, that's all set up now. Now the small highway has to go forward and is blocked. Classic. But no biggie. Honestly, whenever I work on highway interchanges, there's like four iterations. Like this is just iteration one. Because now we have the next part where it's like, hey, we did a little bit, but now where are the next highway entrances and exits? Because inevitably stuff like this happens. So that's okay, we got a general idea, which is the most important thing. Because once you have the general idea, it's way easier to iterate and like tinker with it. And here we go. Now we kind of have like a chain link interchange, which 
I think looks really solid. I like it a lot. Uh, this highway needs to connect up to go in this direction, and that's kind of what this chain area in the middle here does. So people can go from this highway, scoot through the chain, and go down this way, and vice versa with every other direction. Just need to widen the lanes a little bit, and now it's all good. It's a shame I can't say the same for this little suburban neighborhood. Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna die. Everybody, eviction notice time. Hooray! And what's this? A little film actor mansion? Mm, you're gonna be moving. Same with you, uh, cool rock musician mansion. But it's okay. You wouldn't want to live through this construction project either. It's gonna be a terrible mess. Yeah, let's just get rid of a bunch of roads so we can properly build. And all right, now we have some space to work with. Very good. Again, we want to bring this highway through all of this and connect it up to this other highway. So how could we kind of go about that? Well, right now, this highway kind of splits into a roundabout that enters this part of the city. And then it also goes onto this highway. It's kind of just a bi-directional highway that goes deeper into this part of the city. Mostly because traffic was just abysmal out here and I needed kind of a new artery to help with it. But now, I don't think we're gonna really need this artery because we're gonna have a proper giant highway. So this can just go. Also, you know, it never looked good, so I'm happy to see it gone. It will be replaced and it'll be much better. So, all right, step one complete. This park probably has to go. What's this, a medical clinic? <laughs> I'm more like it's gone. <laughs> Oh, but wait, <laughs> I think this tram needs that doctor real bad. What happened? Oh my, that is so cursed. I have seen a lot of cursed things in this game, but that that is, no, that's not even top five. Like once you go into like first person and start looking around the streets, you see some weird stuff, man. Accursed things from the fourth dimension, which is why we stay in this overview mode. So we don't have to see all the citizens crying and doing their demonic things. And back to the highways though. Uh, we are probably going to have this highway scoot through this block here. I don't think I wanna build over top of the road cause that usually does weird things to the zoning tiles. Oh, but that kind of works out well. Ah, oh, that's pretty good actually. Kind of works out perfectly. We get a bunch of zoning tiles over there. Maybe I lied. Maybe we do this. I don't know. First iteration, we'll try it out. No, this gets the highway at least through the worst part of the city. Then we're gonna have to go over this train track. This gotta go. Dog park, I'm sorry, you'll be back though. And all right, at this point, we're practically home free. Oh, I lied. There's a college here? Well, there was a college here. Now for this highway, I suppose we just bring it straight through the middle of the entire district. I don't see why not. So just through here, like that should be fine. Then we hook that up with what we're just doing. And then over here, this bridge is way high up. This is like, what, 40 meters in the sky? So we're gonna first have to bring that way down, down to like 20 meters or so. Then what's always annoying is refiguring out the spacing here. It's like, we'll do this mirrored for now, get rid of this side, and then hook up things manually. We can kind of get equal length curves and stuff like that. I think we got it actually first try here. It's not the bad. Switch the direction there. And some things have to be fixed, but overall, yeah. I think we got the general idea down. This goes through here to there. And oh wait, the most terrible connection of all. Getting the highway over this roundabout. Oh please, just be simple. Oh, I should have done this first. This is like actually the worst part. Oh no, this is gonna be terrible. Wait, no, no. No, I'm gonna boop this part. It's gonna be too bad. Oh yeah, that was a good call. Because now the highway just goes across the roundabout and then it scoots off the road and to the bridge. Uh, I decided I'd move the highway though off of this road because it was stacked on top of it before. Just because there's trams here and I felt the interactions might get a little weird. Plus when changing up your entire highway infrastructure to this degree, there might be weird changes in traffic flows and maybe for whatever reason, we might have to add in more lanes here. I don't know. But if we could build off existing road arteries, we could control things to a certain degree. Like for example, this is an eight lane road. 
I want a lot of traffic down this road so we can get some value out of it. So if vehicles want to go, say, down this eight lane road and hit the highway going in this direction, well, we could get rid of that now and switch it to a new highway entrance. So then still people going down this way are heading to the highway itself. Another nice thing is I've tried to add in a few curves to the highway so that when we build highway entrances and exits and stuff like that, they can connect up very well. So here, we just go straight ahead and look at that. It's demonic. How is it that demonic? Oh, city skylines, why do you have to be like this? Oh, there we go. Perfect. So that connection's all nice, and then we can upgrade this to a larger highway. Hmm, okay, I'm noticing some problems here. Okay, at least a four laner. That'd be great, thank you. I don't know, but you get the idea, right? So then going forward here to this next curve, we have another little highway thing that goes out this way. So people can go to this roundabout and either go to this mess or they can go over this way for whatever reason. I don't know. It's just good to have options so right? Right. But we'll leave this as an option only for people entering the city. So we can take this extra exit and kind of bypass some of our other highway infrastructure. Maybe it makes things easier, maybe it helps, I don't really know. But we have this highway already built, so may as well use it, right? Probably. <laughs> or we could delete it later on, who knows? Uh, that's the main stuff, at least over here. The big highway interchange is gonna be here though. And this is gonna be a little, little tiny bit complicated. My main concern is connecting up the highway entrances and exits to main arteries. So fortunately, we have this four lane road here that goes straight to like the train station, then to the eight lane road and beyond. So that is a perfect place to hook up the highway entrances and exits to. So let's bring that forward. And heck, let's just bring it down this way too. Then we'll start hooking up the highway entrances and exits to here. So this would be an highway entrance going that way. And we can make this connection a roundabout. Then also going across it, we could have a highway exit. That's not cursed, not cursed, demons. Please go, thank you. But that could go this way now, hit the main road over here. And if the traffic gets bad there too, then we could add in another roundabout. And then at this point, it kind of seems like we're building like a super block here. So this can all go for a second. And then once I fix those pillars, we can just pretend that this road continues on forward here. And then the incoming traffic can go and hit the main road down here in another giant roundabout. And then all the traffic is probably gonna get real crazy at this point, so we'll add another roundabout there. And all right, that is most of the highway connections done. And after significant cleanup, the whole thing is looking fantastic. We have the main grid in. I managed to change this road into a six lane road because yeah, this is gonna be a busy interchange. And it's looking solid, very happy with it. Or that just might be because I deleted all of those houses and got rid of all the blinking signs and all that. But no matter, this area is practically ready to go. We just have to finish up the grids of the rest of the area. And I've tried to leave the perimeter road alone here. Just so there's some character from what the area used to be like. Like it adds history and lore to the city. And I love that a lot. In fact, that's one of my favorite things about City Skylines too. Is like you never are kind of done with an area. You're upgrading it, you're adding in highways, you're changing up highways. There's all this stuff that makes your city evolve. And it's not more so just going to some random space, setting up a grid for population, and then moving on to the next grid. Kind of feels like the city is actually alive and growing. Anyway though, instead of this area just being the low density suburban zone, we're going to dense it up quite a bit. So lots of towers, lots of medium density. But you know what? Again, for that historic value, we could leave some uh, residential stuff. Like we could have like a small residential zone over here. Like for example, we could have like the rock star and the film actor mansions kind of snug enough over this way. Facing the sea, something like that, I don't know. But even with that, for the most part, this is gonna be a lot of road gridding. Oh, except we do have to rebuild the college. College, that's very important. I think you can fit in just here though, yes? Oh yeah, that looks great, yes, maybe? Sure. And what about the libraries? Can we fit more than one? <laughs> no. All right, look, we got one. So it's done. Uh, and then there's this little weird thing here. We have this road curving around and it looks like it should attach to this roundabout. Should it for real though? What if we did that? Change this to a one way. 
and then kind of made it like a triangle about like people would enter this road from here or something or maybe we got rid of this this road is just a one way now and then rejoins the curve over there and then what remains here scoots over there and like i i guess that works it does look really funky though i kind of like the look of it so okay i can tinker and make it look better but generally speaking just gotta grid all this stuff up which really didn't take too long just a few other decisions i needed to make like fixing up the weird triangle about so it's kind of the same, but a little different. Added in a couple more lanes. Found proper places for some of the mansions, just to facing the sea and whatnot. And then adding in the parks, of course. Parks everywhere. Parking as well. Let's charge out the wazoo, thank you so much. And a few other services and parks and soccer and whatnot. Just while we have a little bit of space and time, right? Because once all of the buildings come in, it's gonna be crazy. So like I was saying before, this area is kind of a little low density, just uh, snug. But then the rest of the space is going to be at way high density. And we're going to try and get our population up. I'm really excited, actually, for how this area turns out. Some of it's low density, but I've also snuck in some big towers. Or will be sneaking in some big towers. And it can end up looking really, really cool. Like a big tower right beside the highway. I don't know what it is, but I, I just really like that aesthetic. Like we can have one there. Shoot, you know, we could even put one down over this way. Maybe two. Yeah, I don't know. This area is going to turn out really, really, really well. I'm very excited to watch it all zone in. Only problem is, with like 220 population, that makes my game run real slow. It'd probably take like at least half an hour for all of this stuff to properly zone in. But oh wait, the magic of editing. It's a wonderful thing. Gotta love it. In this area, it's it's starting out fine. It's definitely not ideal yet. There's way too much green space here, which is kind of annoying. But the towers look fantastic. Like having this one right beside the bridge here, gorgeous. This tower, it's eh, it's kind of cool. This block of towers in itself though is nice. It's kind of like the luxury apartments right by the sea. This one's kind of like more so a bulk apartment area. Not really sure. Not the bad though. How's the traffic looking? Real bad. <laughs> That's just because everybody's moving in. Like it, it'll be fine probably soon. Except probably down here it's not good. Mm. And then further down the highway. Ah uh, yes, this is gonna be a turbo nightmare. Everybody's trying to go from this highway, skirt around and go to this one. And you know what? That's actually an easy fix. Uh, let's just change this highway to have one less lane and give this one another lane and more lanes over here You see the solution is always more lanes <laughs> Gosh, Don't worry. I'll tinker with that to make it look better and also this area started off great But could use a little bit of tinkering as well or more so a lot of tinkering just to fill in a lot of the space To be fair. I filled in a lot of space just with more trees But some zoning helped out too and the traffic has totally died down because I added in an extra lane here and there. Got rid of some traffic lights. Oh, but the best thing of all, check this out. I changed the zoning here and here we now have this beautiful skyscraper with gold balconies. So posh, so luxurious, love it. Another tower over down this way and a couple more snuck right beside the highway here too. But yeah, this area is fantastic. But as for other areas of traffic, how are we looking down here? Yeah, it's not as bad as I would have thought. It'll still take some time for that to clear out. Oh, and also we have a road mate, two road maintenance vehicles here. So that's gonna cause problems. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot. What's happening at the other end of the highway down this way? Is everything working well? It must, right? <laughs> There's hardly anybody using it. I suppose that's fine. Train track was all fixed too and is nicely running by the highway. And yeah, this won't get super busy for a little while here. Because what we need to do next is zone up this entire island. And then things will get a little crazy. Ooh, also we just hit two billion dollars? Fantastic. And on that note, I think we'll end it here. So if you enjoyed, remember to subscribe for more. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye-bye.